Hello everyone. Today we have a Vin Yin yoga practice. This is a wonderful balancing practice. We'll start off with a nice vinyasa flow to connect to the movement and the breath and get our energy flowing to light that fire within us and then we'll wind the practice down with some nice, easy, grounding, gentle yin stretches. All right, so as always, listen to your bodies, modify as needed, roll out your mat, let's get started. Okay, everyone, we're gonna start seated. Bring your right heel in front of your left shin. You're welcome to sit up on a blanket or a block here for a little better posture, if that feels good. Let's just start by taking a few slow breaths, taking some time to center ourselves, center our minds, and really drop into the practice, drop into our bodies and into the present moment. So let your arms rest wherever it's comfortable. Let your shoulders soften down. Let your ears gently pull back so they're stacked right over your shoulders. So right away, we feel this nice long line through our spine. Let's take a full breath in through the nose. Cleansing breath out through the mouth. Let your shoulders soften down even more here. Again, inhale. Let the body expand with prana. Breath energy, open the mouth, let it go. One more time, slow it down even more, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. Just one more moment here. Already noticing a little more presence. We continue to slow down the breath, to connect the breath. We'll begin with some gentle movement. Eyes can open or stay closed throughout the entire practice, up to you. So we'll inhale, start to reach the chest forward, circling to the right. Exhale, sweep back and pull the belly in. So it's like a circular cat cow. Inhale forward. Feeling a little extension, exhale, rounding the back as you sweep behind. And you can continue to take cleansing breaths here if it feels right. Let the breath still remain the priority and the focus here. Slow inhales, slow exhales. Give me a couple more. And as always, this can be as big and fluid and dramatic as you'd like. And go ahead and just come to center. Bring your hands behind you, extend your legs out long. Point through your toes so there's a little more length through the legs. Let's inhale, reach both arms up. Give a little lift of your heart. Exhale, you're just going to take a simple reach forward, a little fold. And then pull the belly in round through the spine again. Let's inhale, reach up. Just finding a little flow right away. Exhale, fold. Again, rolling up, head last. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Big reach through the chest. Go ahead and roll up. Find that easy seat. Left heel, this time in front of the right shin, and then we circle, inhale, forward. Exhale, back, rounding through the spine, contracting through the belly. So we're really, right away, starting to move our energy. Getting that heat in the body, waking up our creative power. A couple more. Big movement in the spine. Let the head, the shoulders go with it. Doesn't matter what it looks like, only how it feels. Remember, it's the journey inwards. That's what it's all about, that inner experience, feeling more, thinking less. 
Go ahead and come up to center. Once again, let's bring the hands behind us. This time, some big windshield wipers. So slide your feet apart wide, maybe even off the edges of the mat. And we rock it side to side, warming up through the hips. Stay with the breath. Let the breath guide the movement. And this is what really allows the practice to be so therapeutic, so healing. Good. From here, we're just going to flip ourselves right around, finding our first downward facing dog, pressing into the fingertips, the thumbs, lifting the hips up high. And then again, deep breaths. So we're just warming up here, so you might want to take more of those cleansing breaths. Maybe Ujjayi breathing here. That soft whisper. And let's go ahead and just move around a little bit. Pedal out, bending one knee and then the other. Let your pelvis sway, warming up through the low back a bit. Let your head go. And then pause. Take a slow inhale, slow exhale, and then bend your knees and walk your hands to your feet. Find a rag doll, forward fold. Shake out your head right away, let it fully release. Maybe clasp opposite elbows here and just really hang. Maybe invite in a little bit of a swaying motion, swinging motion. So as always, we're nice and grounded through the feet. Think about shifting forward so not all the weight is in the heels, but also in the balls of the feet. A little bend in the knees is always recommended. Widen your stance as much as you need. You can always turn the toes out. Let's come into a squat. You're welcome to bring your hands to your heart. No worries if the heels pop up, that's all good. Take an inhale here to elongate through the spine and then exhale, fold back over the legs. Shake out the head. And again, squat down, inhale, hands to heart if you want. Exhale, fold. Feel a little more compression through the belly. So think about gluing the belly to the thighs every time you fold over. Let's go one more time into that squat. And this time, we'll just play a little bit. Hands to heart, or you could even keep your fingertips down. We're just gonna rock it out side to side. You can push one knee open and then the other, just warming up in a way that feels good to you. Again, the movement can be as big or as small and gentle as you'd like. Good, come back into that rag doll. Once again, walk out to your downward dog. Take a couple full breaths. Feel free to continue any movement that feels right here. Let's lift the heels up. Get a nice stretch through the toes. Feel the legs really strong here, belly pulling in. As you exhale, just soften those heels back towards the mat. Do that again, lift and lower. And then once again, bend your knees, walk it back into that rag doll. Hang. Come into your squat, this time let's hold. Drop your left fingertips down, reach your right fingertips to the sky, get a little rotation through the chest as you reach up. One more full breath in, reach a little higher. Exhale, come down. Switching sides, right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Big reach, little rotation through the spine. Easy on the neck, try not to tense up. One more inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down, beautiful. This time we'll come back into our forward fold and inchworm out to our first plank. So as always, we're gonna give a little squeeze of the glutes, tuck the tail, pull the belly in, and reach the chest forward. Find a nice long line. And if you'd like, just give a little rocking motion forward and back. As always, grip the mat with your fingers. 
You can drop your knees here if you'd like. Remember to keep that chest reaching forward. Keep that tuck of the tail as you lower down to your belly, letting your elbows hug in gently towards your waist. Press into the tops of the feet. Keep that tuck of the tail, that activation through the glutes. Couple shoulder rolls here. Up, in, and down. Roll those shoulders down, lift baby cobra, inhale. Hands are light, as always. Upper back, doing the work here. Exhale, melt. Do that one more time, roll the shoulders. Feel the neck lengthen, lift up. Take a full inhale here. As you exhale, tuck your toes, pull your navel to your spine. Pass through plank, find that long line, and then push it back, downward dog. Breathe. Feel that heat, that energy awakening within you. Now we'll take a deep bend in the knees and gaze forward. Full breath in. As you exhale, take a slow walk up to the hands. Flat back, inhale, maybe airplane the arms. Get that squeeze through the upper back to extend the spine long. Exhale, fold. Press into the feet, root down, rise up, grow tall. Bring your hands to your heart, pausing for a moment. And just notice, feel the balance between the body and the mind. So the body becoming energized, warm and nourished and the mind becoming cool and calm and peaceful. Let's dance, inhale, reach up, sun salute, follow the breath. Take up space, exhale, swan dive. Flat back, lengthen on an inhale. Exhale, come to a plank, and maybe set your knees down or maybe float halfway down, chaturanga. Cobra, just like we practiced, or upward facing dog. With the thighs lifted, really push away from the earth, pull the belly in, keep the glutes engaged. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe. Just continue to feel, continue to allow yourself to enjoy the journey inwards. No expectations, no judgment, just the practice. Bend the knees, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, take that walk, big step or gentle hop to the top, flat back. Exhale, melt, head last. Root down, rise up, grow a little bit taller, go a little bit slower, hands to heart. And we reach, inhale, lift, create length, exhale, dive. Flat back, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, any variation here, be mindful, always keeping that long line as you lower down. Heart lifts, inhale again, push away from the earth, Neck is long, exhale, push it back. Breathe. One more deep breath here. Good, bend the knees, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, step or float. Flat back, inhale, reach those fingertips back, heart forward. Exhale, fold. Root down, rise up. Take up a little more space, hands to heart. Pause and notice. Reach the arms back up. This time, if you'd like, bring your legs all the way together so you have that nice squeeze through your legs. Interlace all the fingers and then up through the index. Soften the shoulders, soften the elbows. Let's start with big circles here, moving with breath. So really isolating through the spine, the thoracic spine to be more specific. So the pelvis stays steady, the low back. So we really mobilize through that upper spine. You can, as always, make this as big as you'd like. You can get as low as you'd like. Reverse when ready. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Let's go for three or four more. 
good. And then inhale, grow tall. Reach up, you can separate your feet if you'd like, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, swan dive, hang. Find a nice long spine. We're gonna step the left foot back, the right foot stays in front. Find a runner's lunge. Pause just for a moment, soften your fingertips, reach the heart forward. And then press into the ball of the back foot as you rise, high crescent lunge. Pause and just feel. Feel free to scoot your back foot in a little bit if you need. You're gonna cactus your arms, get that squeeze through the upper back. Think about pulling your hands back, roll your biceps back, getting that external rotation through the shoulders. Start to slowly bend your back knee, float it an inch off the mat. We pulse here for 10. Squeeze through the booty, tuck that tail, pull the belly in. Let's go for seven, six, Keep that active squeeze through the shoulder blades. Four, three, two, and then slowly lower that back knee all the way down. Untuck your back toes if you'd like. Inhale, reach up. Hands to heart as you exhale. Keep the pelvis right under the rib cage here. Keep that squeeze through the left glute. Take your left hand to your right thigh. Reach your right arm forward. Big circles as you inhale, lift up. Reach back as you twist through the spine and rotate. Good, sweep back down, up, inhale, twist, gaze back. Again, down, forward, up, twist, stay there, maybe reach that front left arm forward. You have that long line through your arms. Stay in your twist, gaze forward, take a little reach up as you inhale. Front fingertips, lift up. Stay in that rotation, keep that long line through your arms, hinge forward. Left hand down under left shoulder, straighten your back leg and then send your gaze back up. Take a full inhale here, stay really grounded through that front foot, peel your heart open a little bit more. Exhale, melt that top hand down inside your front foot. Pull your belly in, lift your hips. As you straighten your front knee, we pivot to our wide-legged fold to the left. Adjust your footing, bend your knees, roll up through the spine. Interlace the fingers. Draw your hands down towards the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades, straighten your elbows. Lift the chin and chest, inhale. Exhale, fold back down with or without the bind. Maybe stretching the arms off of the back. Let your head hang. <sighs> Cleansing breaths, if it feels right. Release that bind. Bend the knees deeply, roll back up through the spine, arms up on an inhale. Pivot that front foot forward, warrior two. Line up that front heel with the arch of the back foot. Adjust as needed. Dancing warriors, inhale, front arm reaches up and back. Exhale, back arm reaches up and forward. Not dropping any weight into that bottom arm as you pass through side angles. So really strong foundation, strong legs, strong core. And finding ease in that strength. Stay low in the hips, press into those heels. Moving freely, let's go one more time. And then pause in the peaceful warrior, reach back. Sink a little lower in that front knee. Full breath in, soften the shoulders. Exhale, we're gonna cartwheel down to our lunge. Take your right leg to the sky, inhale, shoot it up, three-legged dog. Little core, exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale up, knee to nose, squeeze. Inhale up, cross over left elbow, take your time. Inhale up, bend the knee, open the hip if you'd like, maybe even straighten the leg. A nice big stretch. And then exhale, lower down, downward dog. Take a full breath, let it out. Deep bend in the knees, inhale, gaze forward as you inhale. 
Exhale, walk, step or float to the top. Flat back, find that length, shine your heart. Exhale, melt. Root to rise, come up slow. Hands to heart, we pause and we just notice, that's it. Observe, feel the energy within you. Balance. Let's go again, second side. Big inhale, reach up, take your time. Exhale, dive. Right leg back, left leg stays forward, adjust as needed. Pause in that runner's lunge, soften your fingertips, reach the spine long. You can narrow your stance for a little more stability if you need, rising to that high crescent lunge. Pause for a moment. Belly in, ribs in, tailbone lengthening down. And then we cactus the arms, roll the biceps back, push the hands back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Bend that back knee, float an inch off the mat, we pulse. Really squeeze through that right glute. Let's go for 10. Spine long, eight, seven, six. Keep that activation through the upper back for three, two, and then slowly set the knee down. Arms up, inhale, hands to heart. Take your time. Place the right hand on the left thigh. Take your left arm forward and up. Inhale, reach back as you twist. Nice squeeze through the belly there. Sweep down, forward, up and back. With the breath, down. Forward, up and back. We hold. Reach that right front arm forward, that long line. Good, gaze forward. Stay in that rotation as you reach the front arm up. Little stretch, inhale, exhale. Drop the right hand down, left fingertips to the sky, straighten that back leg, kind of rebuild that twist, gaze up. Take a slow inhale. Exhale, melt down inside that front foot. Beautiful, we'll pick up the pelvis here. Straighten that front knee as you pivot to your wide-legged fold, adjusting as needed. Bend the knees, we roll up right away. Interlace your fingers again. Roll the shoulder blades back. Straighten out those elbows, lift the chin and chest, inhale. Back to that fold, exhale. With or without the bind. Give a little wiggle of your head. Nice and strong through the legs. Breathe. Clearing, cleansing, creating space in the body, the mind. Opening up. Good, release that bind when ready. Bend your knees, we roll right back up, head last. And then the arms up, inhale. Finding that warrior two, left toes forward. Exhale as you bend into the front knee, we reach those arms out. And again, adjust your stance as needed. You wanna feel good and steady. Soften where you can soften. Press down into those heels. And we dance. Left arm up. And a right arm forward. Feel that dance of ease and effort, power and strength and stability, yet also fluidity, grace, and self-expression. So we are a beautiful balance of those two things, strong and gentle. Good, one more time, we'll pause in that peaceful reach back. Sink a little lower. One more breath, energy through the fingers. Exhale, cartwheel down. I knew a time. Three legged dog, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale up. The slower, the better. Knee to nose. Inhale up. 
cross over. Inhale up. Bending the knee, open and stretch through the hip. Maybe extend the leg all the way. Slowly lower down. Take a cleansing breath here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Drop your knees, child's pose. Settle. Always feel free to rest your head on a prop or your arms. And I'd like you to begin to let go of effort. Steady breaths. Let your awareness be guided deeper and deeper inwards as we move into the yin side of the practice, that more gentle side meditative practice. Come up to tabletop. Give me one inhale to rotate the chest open to the right and reach that right arm to the sky. Feel the openness you've created. And then as you exhale, thread your needle, bring that right arm through, melting down onto the side of your head. You could always rest on a blanket or a block here. Adjust your hips as needed. Top arm can come forward. You could lift it, wrap it behind. You could even place it on the bottom hand. You decide. Slow breaths. Bringing presence into the mind. With every breath, we feel more and more connected. connected to that innate peace within us. See if you can melt into this. Let your body become a little bit heavier. One more breath. And then slide your left hand back under your left shoulder. Let's slowly unwind. Once again, float that right arm up and just feel the space. Set it down. Second side, nice and easy, not rushing. Left arm up. Full breath in. Exhale, sweep it under. And adjust. And once you find comfort, stay with the breath. Follow the breath wave all the way in, all the way out. Continuing to slow down the mental chatter, all the distractions in the mind that keep us disconnected to that inner peace that inner stillness. Couple more slow breaths. more inhale letting go exhale unwind left arm up take your time really feel set it down we're gonna shift the hips back to the heels if kneeling isn't comfortable 
You could try setting on a block or a blanket or just come to an easy seat, just like we did in the beginning. Real easy, you're gonna take your left palm and flip it behind you and then wrap it around your waist, around your kind of mid-back area. If you want, you can take your right hand and kind of interlace the fingers together to help hold that arm in place. Drop both shoulders down, keep your ears right over your shoulders, so pull back gently, and then let your right ear melt towards your right shoulder. Relax your jaw here, and then check in with the left shoulder, make sure it's sliding down. So we're creating this traction, this deep stretch through the space between your left ear and your left shoulder. And then we're just gonna take a very gentle movement here. So stay tilted, stay in that lateral flexion. Keep the breath steady and you'll just rock your chin down towards your right armpit. Very slow and then back up. Down. Up. Couple more times. Let the head be very heavy here. You can always back out a little bit if it's too much. This tends to be a very tender area. We hold lots of tension here through the neck and the upper traps. Keep the jaw relaxed, your face soft. Easy. Couple more. And then bring that chin back to neutral and rise up. Take a slow breath, release your arms. Give me just a couple simple shoulder rolls up and back. Notice the difference in the left and right side. And then flip the right palm back, wrap it around your waist. If you want, again, you can just either interlace the fingers or place that left hand over the right, whatever feels good. And then begin to slowly melt your left ear down this time. Check in with that right shoulder to elevate up, melt it down. Relax the jaw. You can always wiggle it out a little bit. Slow breaths, and then again, chin down, and up, down, eyes can stay closed, making sure that you're not distracted by anything in your outer material environment, staying focused on the inner journey, the sensations, the feelings, continuing to just observe. A couple more, up and down. Every time you exhale, feel everything soften a little bit more, a little bit more tension melt away. Let's go one more, really slow, tilt, up and gently lift the head. This time, just give your arms a couple little swings. Good, let's come to a seat. Stretch those legs out long. You can point the toes again if you'd like. Let's take an inhale up. And then once again, just an easy forward fold. Not forcing it. Let your hands just melt down by your sides. If you have a couple blocks, you're welcome to stack them up and rest your head. Wiggle out your sit bones a little bit here if you'd like. We're just gonna be here for a minute. So even though this is very yin, it's very passive, still aim at keeping a little bit of length in your spine here. Relax your ankles now. 
and just breathe. Let your head hang if you want. Real easy. stretch without forcing it. And that's what's great about the yin practice, taking a little more time in the stretches. We really take the time to breathe slowly and let our nervous system relax. And this is what really allows the connective tissue to release and stretch a little more effectively. Let's go one more breath, real easy. Let it out. Very slowly reach through the spine to rise up. Lean it back. Slide those feet up just like before. A couple slow windshield wipers. Let's go one more each side. Let the knee melt towards the mat, the front knee. Good. And then one more time, extend those legs out long. Take a full breath in, reach up. Let's roll to our backs nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Landing there. Right away, melting into the support of the earth. Take a slow breath. A few more of those if it feels right. Slide your feet up onto the mat, get nice and grounded through your low back. Stretch your right leg straight up, externally rotate through the thigh, cross the right ankle over the left knee for our supine pigeon. You could always scoot your bottom foot in and maybe that's enough of a stretch or as always you can pick up that bottom foot, maybe interlace the fingers, but I don't want you straining through your neck or shoulders even place a block or two under that bottom foot to rest it on so you're working even less. Check in. Let the shoulders melt down. Let the head become heavy. the breath. Notice if your mind is wandering, attaching to thoughts, emotions, any past experiences. And just as you become aware of that, that's enough to remind yourself to take a slow breath. Follow it all the way up to the top and then all the way down to the bottom and let the breath recenter you. Let's do one more just like that. Slow in and out. Release the knee if you have it. Set that left foot back down and then the right. And just pause, notice. Deep breath in, letting go breath out. And then the left leg extends. Take your time, moving slowly without much effort at all. Roll that thigh open, cross the foot over and then adjust 
Maybe just by scooting that bottom foot in is enough. Or maybe you pick it up. You can always back out if you notice you start to tense up or if the breath becomes rigid. be soft you can notice this lightness this ease gentleness body melting deeper and deeper to take just a couple more in out soften one more part of your body Place the right foot down and then the left. Take a couple of those windshield wipers just to neutralize here. Breathe into that space. Final stretch, a simple reclined butterfly. Bring the soles of the feet together. Feel free to slide props underneath the knees. Let's cactus the arms. Settle in. Really feel the openness in the body here. Let your belly rise and fall ever so slowly with every conscious, steady breath. Notice where you might still be holding any tension. Is it the shoulders? Is it the neck? Is it the hips? Take another slow breath, and then as you exhale, just let go. Now you can finish the practice in this gentle stretch, or you're welcome to lower your arms down by your sides, let your legs go long, finding your Shavasana, that jewel of surrender. Let's take one more deep breath in. Letting go, breath out. Let your breath effortlessly return back to its natural rhythm. Feel the balance, the yin and the yang. All parts of you in perfect harmony. There is stillness in the mind. Compassion, and love in your heart. brilliant light 
that is who you are, that is a part of you. Just feel it. I encourage you to stay here in your Shavasana for several more minutes if you have the time, feeling that sense of balance, that inner light and love shining through you. Always taking time for gratitude. Feeling grateful for the practice. Thanking yourself for taking this time. For showing up for yourself. And I'd like to thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice. Om Shanti Om Peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next time.